All right, hey everybody, how's it going? I know you came to see your grandkids, your cousin, your friend, boyfriend, girlfriend, depends on what they did here. Uh, but we all know you also came to see me, so uh, we're going to be on our way now. Uh, I'd like to point out something very ironic. A lot of guys in high school would uh, notice this, like very common. I'd say even maybe every two months or so. A uh, girl would come up to you and be like, don't try to call me, don't try to text me. Oh yeah? We start going through it, you know, as a past perspective. Oh, you dropped it, it broke, your parents took it away because you snuck out and saw somebody you shouldn't have at one in the morning at a Bennigan's off of uh, North Avenue. That's not the point, though. That's not the point. And then they come out with it. No, I dropped it in the toilet. How, how do you drop it in the toilet? That's not logical thinking for guys. We, we are not able to process that. We dropped it in the toilet. How? You know why? Because we have, you guys love to put it in your back pocket. We are giving front, front pockets for a reason, guys. No, 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 no. No. We're going to have it in the back pocket, three quarters of the way out, <laughs> bouncing on that rim. You guys love it. Bouncing on the rim. I don't understand why it fell out. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. <laughs> what? It fell out? <laughs> yes, it's going to fall out into the toilet. Put the lid down and pull down your pants. Then lift the lid. What are you doing? <laughs> oh my god. It's, it's, it's ridiculous, but we can't comprehend it. We don't get it. It's either in our hand or in our pocket. In the front. Alright, now this goes to my next point. Girls and their purses. Now girls, oh, we we'll get some gills, we know where this is going, alright. <laughs> you can also keep it in your purse, I guess, whatever, anyway. So, this is how it goes. And girls will never, ever, ever, ever admit to this. They put on their purse. Every girl holds it like this. I'm not exaggerating. <laughs> they walk with it like this. Now, what I'm going to show you, I can't do because I need both hands and I, I'm not allowed to break the mic. So I'm going to hold the mic. Pretend I'm still holding it, alright? We all following? Alright? When they start moving in those stiletto pumps at school, <laughs> up the stairs, <laughs> what does your hands start doing? What's. Oh? Oh? Oh, it starts, it, it starts doing this, and, and it, it gets to the point where we're in full stride. <laughs> not even kidding you, not even kidding you. It does that, and girls are like, oh, Michael, you're just exaggerating. Yeah, I'm exaggerating? You want to see exaggerating? <laughs> That's a lot of exaggerating. What you girls do up the stairs? No, this, this is the motion, and I can walk behind that. You understand what this hand is right now? No. No. You go, and you're walking up. I have to back up. You either back up, you make two decisions as a guy. You either stay there, and go like this. Homemade pop. Or, or, you take that safe distance back. You're taught, you're taught to drive behind people at a certain distance. You're taught to walk behind girls at a certain distance. Right back here. See that? All right, you guys can't see this up here. Never mind. It's a safe distance. You're, you know, regardless. And uh, I'd like to go on to say something about uh, the old face space, the old Facebook that all them kids are so crazy about. We love spending our hours on that when we're supposed to be studying. Doing whatever it is that we do as teenagers, legal or not. <laughs> and we go on that Facebook. We're going to go friend request Mike Cotton tonight. All right, let's just use that as an example. We're going to go friend request Mike Cotton. That's M I. Well, actually, it's Michael. You won't find Mike Cotton. It's probably some guy out in Columbia. I don't know. <laughs> Spell the whole name. It's A E L, people. I'm sick of it being spelled E A L. I'm tired of it. A-E-L. 
Michael Cotton. Let's search that up. Let's send a friend request. Okay. Oh, it's Susie. I don't remember Susie, but I have 87 friends, mutual friends. Well, that must mean something. If 87 of my friends like this person, I must like them too. So let's let's just let's just examine that right there. Click on it. A picture comes up. This is what I get. Nose. Eye. Ear. Part of a bang in the face. That's it. That's it. And then they block the rest of their photos. So I can't even research. That's it. That's all I'm giving. Okay, Susie. When did I go to school with you? What? And then, then they come up to me the next day. Why did you, why did you accept my friend request? I'll, I'll tell you why. Because you gave me a nose, an eye, and an ear, and some bang. I'm sorry I don't know what your bangs look like. Get off my case. Okay. And, and then you go on there, and you're trying, to, you're trying to figure it out. And first of all, guys are concerned with two things. Do I know this person? Well, maybe not all guys. Who knows? you got those people that have a thousand friends. I find that very suspicious. You don't know a thousand people. <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> you spend, what, eight hours of your day in here? When are you meeting one thousand people? <laughs> You're 17 years old. God, what are you, friend requesting your kindergarten teacher? What are you doing? <laughs> anyway, that's not the point. That's not the point. You look at the picture, and you're trying to figure out, A, do I know this person? Probably I have these seven friends in common. And two, are you dating material? <laughs> I cannot figure that out by looking at eye, bang, ear. Nose. Mmm. Mmm, I love that nostril. Mmm, I love that I love that How am I supposed to figure out who you are? Give me a little a picture of the body, too. It helps a lot. Jesus. This brings me to my next thing. That person that you put, you know, you don't, you don't accept it, but you don't decline it. Because then you feel like a jerk. So you put it off to the side and you let it fester. I'm going to use the word fester. <laughs> and you leave it in there for three months until you feel okay for declining it. You're like, I don't even remember they sent it. Click. Like, next thing you know, the next day it's up there again, like, oh my god, they're waiting for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What do I do now? You leave it there again. This is what happens the next day at school. Walking down the hallway, every great day, loving life, going along my way. Carry my 50 pound backpack, I love it. <laughs> and from the opposite direction comes that friend. And maybe you knew this kid two years ago and you don't talk to him anymore. You get that awkward, does he expect me to say hello? Is he going to say hello to me? Every high school knows what I'm talking about. Every single one of you guys should be laughing. <laughs> Everybody knows. And what do you guys do? You guys. Immediately, the most amazing thing in, in, the envir in the environment around you is the floor. <laughs> that floor. You, there, there must be elves dancing on it or something because you are eyes to the floor, just carrying your backpack, just going your way. And there, it keeps getting closer and closer until the moment of truth comes up. You start looking at the lockers, you're like, uh, 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 you start talking to a kid you don't even know. <laughs> you start backing off like this. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> You keep walking, the kid comes up to you, now he's passing you. And he's like, oh my, and you're like, oh, oh no, it's too late then, it's too late, you keep walking, it's too late. If you turn around, you've already, you've already made yourself look like a jerk. By turning around and answering him, you've assured it. You're a jerk. Oh, hi, oh, uh, that's what it turns into. That's what it turns into, you just keep walking. So after you walk past them, even if they stand there waiting, you just keep going. Well, thank you very much. My name is Mike Cotton. Go friend request me on Facebook.